Hi friends, coming to the next topic that is a function count or functional count or you can call it as a functional point analysis. Functional point analysis. So what is this functional point analysis? So first the functional count is appeared appear to be a solution to the size measurement problem size measurement problem so this functional count is uh, is one of the solution for uh, solving the problem in the size measurement problem uh, if there is anything problem occur in the size while doing the size measurements of a program so this functional count will be uh, one of the solution means we are counting the functions so the functions that are present in the program means the input functions output functions internal functions whatever the if you want to deliver one product so how many functions that is going to be undertaken so that we have to be calculated uh, now let us see the special features of this functional count special features the special features are it is uh, independent to the language so it's not dependent to any type of language you can use so for any type of language we can calculate the functional point analysis so dependent independent to the language estimate development effort in early phases so in the early phases only we are going to be calculate the estimate development effort means how much the total effort that uh, it takes to complete the process directly linked with the requirements so this functional count and the functional point analysis is directly linked with the requirements so that we can easily uh, calculate the functional point analysis if you know the all the related functions information the functional point analysis based on users external view of system so it is completely based on the users external view of system okay now let us see uh, what exactly this functional uh, the principle of this functional point analysis so i had say explain about the features now let us see the principle of functional point analysis the principle of functional point analysis is that a system is decomposed into decomposed into functional units so if you take any system if you take any system that system will be decomposed into functional units the main the the principle of this functional uh, point analysis is to decompose the system into functional units so totally there are five functional units that are present in the uh, that will be de decomposed the system is decomposed into five functional units the first thing is input input here uh, information information entering the system we call it as an input here we are entering the information into the system and output output means information leaving the system information is leaving out from the system leaving the system and the third functional unit is uh, enquiries Enquiries is related to both input and output. Here the request for instant access information. So whether it is an input or an output, we have to just request an access for in instant access information inside the system or outside the system. And internal logic files. Internal logical files. Internal logical files means information held within the system. You call it as internal logical file. The logical files that are present inside the system, then you call it as internal logical files. Information held within the system. And external logical files. External logical files. 
so here uh, information held by other system that is used by the system being analyzed system being analyzed so these are the five functional unit our system is decomposed into five functional unit so this is the main principle of the functional point analysis if you want to calculate the functional point analysis you have to divide the system into five functional units input output enquiries internal logic external logic so with the help of these functional units you can calculate the functional point analysis of your uh, system okay so these five functional units are categorized into two types again these these five functional unit are categorized into categorized into two types so one is transactional functional unit functional type transactional functional type and the second one is data functional type data functional type so this five functional units that is input output enquiries internal logic external interface files are divided into two categories transactional functional uh, type and the data functional type transactional functional types are nothing but the external input we call it as ei external output EO and external uh, enquiries external enquiry that is EQ so these three comes under the transactional functional type we are transacting the data we are transacting the functions so we have to calculate that functional point analysis also external input external output external enquiries then what about the data functional types data functional types or comes under the internal logical files we call it as ilf and external interface files so these two comes under the data functional type here the data information will be passed internal logical files ilf and uh, external interface files so now let me show you the simple diagram so here a user was there let us take this as a user okay so here we are having uh, this is application being measured here let us take application being measured in this area and it consisting of some internal logical files ilf ilf so ilf internal logical files are present in this application boundary we call it as an application application boundary so in this application boundary you are having the internal logical files all logical files are present in this disks and uh, here is a communication so the user is communicated to this app application boundary like it giving this external input external output and this is a bi-directional of external enquiries input and output okay and here you are having the other applications some other applications so like hard disk cd servers apps different other applications will be there so this will be communicated with this external interface file so this is an external other applications these are other applications are interfacing with the application boundaries that is external interface file external queries external input external output so for the other applications also these will be giving input taking the input and giving the output okay so this application boundary is interfacing with the user and the other applications 
so this is a main server so this is interacting with the users and with the other applications so and these are all the some functional units that are present uh, to perform the actions external input external output external queries external interface file in internal logical files so we have to calculate uh, all these uh, by with the help of these all functional units we have to calculate the functional point analysis the adjust uh, adjustable functional point analysis okay so that i'll explain with an example in the next video thank you